Hey YouTube and welcome back to tutorial number 27 and in this tutorial I just want to show you guys how to make a background image on your web page so in this tutorial we are starting off with a blank body and that is perfectly fine because we don't actually need any content inside of our body so we can go straight over to our CSS file over here and what we're going to do now is just select the body tag and that'll make sure that our image tiles all the way across the entire background of our website and now what we can do is use the property called background minus image or background hyphen image to set the image to the background so now what you have to do is type in the word URL and then inside brackets put two quotation marks and inside those quotation marks you have to put the file location of the image you want to use okay so my image is called profile underscore pick dot jpg and then we have to put a semicolon over here okay but this alone isn't actually going to work because my image is in a folder called images so if you take a look this is my website structure over here and that's the index page that we're working with at the moment but this is our CSS sheet over here and like as you guys saw over here we just typed in the name of my picture that I want to use which is profile pic but if we save this now and run this in Firefox oops okay run this one in Firefox okay we're gonna get a blank web page as you can see and that's because our CSS folder couldn't actually find the image and that's because we didn't give it the right location okay so profile pic yes is the name of my picture but what happened was my CSS sheet looked for profile pic in the same folder that my CSS sheet is in and there is no picture over here called profile pic so it just gave up looking and it didn't add the image to the background so in order to tell my CSS folder to go one folder up and then into the images folder and then to find my picture we have to type in dot dot forward slash and then images and then forward slash and then the name of my profile pic okay and now when we save this and we click refresh we get a website with my face all over it which is pretty much the best website you've ever seen am I right okay now I'm just kidding but uh, yeah now what we can do is instead of having my image my face repeat across the entire website let's just go ahead and say background minus repeat is equal to no repeat and that'll stop the image from repeating both ways so it's not going to repeat across and it's not going to repeat down let's go ahead and refresh and as you can see I just have one image of myself okay and let's say I actually wanted my image to repeat only across the website then what I can do is I can say background repeat is equal to repeat X okay and when we refresh this we have my web my picture repeating all the way across my website and if I had to make my website longer the picture would just carry on going so that's pretty cool and uh, now what we can do is make my picture instead of going across go down uh, so we just set background repeat is equal to repeat y and that makes my picture repeat down okay so that's pretty cool now what we can also do is we can use background images and background colors to work together so let me just go ahead and minimize this so instead of using profile pic I'm going to use uh, the pic called smiley.jpg and we'll just uh, we'll take the repeat away so that my image repeats all the way across the website 
and then I'll type in a property called background color which I already showed you guys before background minus color and I already told you guys that you can use a hexadecimal color like um, 272727 I have no idea what color that's going to come out by but anyways let's go ahead and refresh this hmm okay so what happened there was uh, my image didn't actually show up and that's because it's not a JPEG it's a ping so let me just go ahead and change that to PNG and we go ahead and save this and then we can refresh this in Firefox <laughs> and I already did it and we get the image repeating down and across our web page and uh, the color of our web page is still in the background so you can have your background color and your background image and if we started typing in content over here that would also appear above the image so you actually have three layers of content on your website or three layers that you can work around with every element on your web page so that's pretty cool and I hope you guys learned a lot from this tutorial and I will see you guys next time I would appreciate it a lot if you guys really hit that subscribe button and also don't be afraid to comment, like or share my videos. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thanks very much and I'll see you guys next time.